The summer of 2011, Lionsgate, known for releasing a lot of independent horror movies, acquired the rights to Texas Chainsaw franchise to do up to seven films. And I was really excited from the start. I want to let everyone know this is going to be like, this is after opening weekend. It had a huge success. Good for horror movies. It racked in 23 million opening weekend. It beat out Django Unchained, The Hobbit, Les Miserables. It even collected more. It even had a better debut weekend than Scream 4 did. Believe it or not. So, Lionsgate's used to releasing bad horror films, so it's not surprised that they bought the franchise, so of course they're going to green light it, even though it's gotten mad hate from a lot of Texas Chainsaw Massacre fans, including myself. I don't want to do a review of this. I've already done a review, so I just want to keep it on the news aspect. They pretty much invented the blueprint for releasing horror movies quickly. They did the Saw franchise every year from 2004 to 2010. And that was their plan for this franchise to be their new Saw. And put Saw on the back burner until a potential reboot in a few years by about 2018. Who knows? Probably even sooner than then. But, so... Total Texas Chainsaw Massacre blasphemy. I don't know why you're gonna if you're gonna do a direct sequel to the first film, the 1974 film, but set it 40 years in the future. That really didn't work for me, and it didn't even feel like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie for the most part because the whole family was gone. All that was left was Leatherface. So this is going to be all spoilers from here out for people that have seen it. I recommend only seeing it because you get to see the opening scene flashbacks, all the death scenes of the original movie in 3D montage. It's worth seeing it for that alone. From there, it pretty much goes downhill. I've read Texas Chainsaw Massacre comic books with way better stories. Check out those from Dark Horse Comics that came out in like 2007. By the graphic novel, you'll be amazed how amazing those stories and how beautiful the artwork. Actually, they change up artists on different comics. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, but you'll still be happy if, they, if you're a huge Texas Chainsaw Massacre fan. Alexandra Daddario has already had interviews where she's willing to come back for the sequel. As we know, she like accepts being a Sawyer. And she ends up turning, just being a Sawyer and basically being a, a villain like for the, for the future of this franchise. That's the way they set it up. And that was the whole twist for the whole thing is that she was going to like accept. They even have her killing a guy with a pitchfork. It's just worse than Jill Roberts' as ghost face. I don't know where to take this now. They did it like an after credit scene where like they already killed off her parents who saved her. So if they have the rights to do six more movies, I don't know why they summed that up in one scene. I don't know what's going to happen. Leatherface is going to be chasing down her boyfriends in the future. I don't, I don't understand. I want someone to explain to me how... They moved across town. Grandma survived. When did she die? How did she die? Leatherface is like 60 years old. And how did they get the rich house? And it's like spotless compared to like the old farmhouse with the chicken feathers everywhere. It's just like a polar opposite in terms of setting, character. They filmed it in Louisiana, so it didn't show the goods. They didn't show the great countryside and the blue skies and the farmland that Platinum Dunes knew how to capture. They didn't capture all the elements to make it feel like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre film. Total, totally dissed Drayton Sawyer, the father of Leatherface. If they're going to do a direct sequel, I wanted the original setting. Wow, and those characters fleshed out. They owned the barbecue in town, the store. There's so much they could have gone with that, and they had to bring it into 2012 just for the iPhone sheriff scene. I can't handle it.
Can you handle it? I can't. That's pretty much all I had to say. So, and they expect it to be, they're saying that they already greenlit it and they expect it to come out in 2014. I don't know if they're going to wait for Halloween this time around. That was another thing. They just made it Halloween setting for like no reason. Oh, it's Halloween. They didn't even have any Halloween directions. Terrible. This is JBM from the news. I'm out. Leave your comments or your thoughts on the future of the franchise.